Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction guys I want to say thank you so much for actually you know uh, just subscribing to our channel. You guys are super amazing. Thank you so much. We are about to get to 30,000 subscribers and I know I know that we're gonna get there very soon and we want at least this year we want to get to 100k. I mean that that's something that's gonna happen. I believe so. So guys, without any further ado, what we're gonna do today? We're gonna react to something different. I mean, this is something that uh, not really different, but it's just something to make us, you know, uh, just think about it and also uh, maybe know what is happening around our surroundings and you know and all those kind of stuff. So without any further ado, today we're gonna react to seven black people with real super human abilities born once in a thousand years so without any further ado let's get it move captain i want to ask a second time we all love superhero movies but the characters in these movies are so exaggerated it will take humans thousands of years of research and medicine to reach such superhuman capabilities luckily we have superhumans living among us today The people on today's list do have remarkable powers that will blow you away. Here are seven black people with real superhuman abilities you have never seen before. Oh, Afro. Number seven, Alonzo Clemens, photographic memory. It's believed that his head injury somehow rewired his brain. He's coming along. He's coming along, isn't he? <laughs> Damaging cognitive abilities, but freeing up extraordinary artistic gifts. Alonzo Clemens is an artist with a remarkable background. When Alonzo was a child, he suffered a bad head injury, resulting in Savant Syndrome. Savant Syndrome is a rare condition in which someone with significant mental disabilities demonstrates certain incredible powers, which in Alonzo's case is Captain. Art. You're probably thinking, dude, I know a guy who does this. No, you don't. What makes Alonzo special is he doesn't use references to make his sculptures. Just name the animal and he will sculpt it to the T. Alonzo does his sculptures with amazing speed, great accuracy in form and artistic beauty. That took you 15 minutes at most. Alonzo cannot describe how he sculpts and why his ability mostly relates to animals, but considers his ability to be a gift from God an inner urge that enables him to show how he sees the world. Whenever he is asked how he does it, Alonzo will simply smile and point to his head. He never learned how to do any of this. Leave a thumbs up if you are impressed with his gift. Number 6. Ben Underwood, Real Life Daredevil Marvel's Daredevil got his powers through an accident, but in reality, this is quite a rare phenomenon. Meet Ben Underwood, the Real Life Daredevil. And I can tell where desks are in the classroom and stuff like that. I can hear the wall over there, the couch over there. I can hear the wall behind me. I can hear the wall over there and the TV and the computer. Ben lost both his eyes to cancer at the age of three. But with his mom's relentless encouragement and Ben's reckless hope, he developed his own form of echolocation and learned to see again. He used it to do amazing things that blind people don't normally do. He was determined to live his life to the fullest. Using only his extraordinary hearing, he could walk around without a cane or a guide dog, so his parents treated him like any other child. His little brother didn't even know he was blind at first. I didn't really know he was blind. I just knew he was my brother. Unfortunately, the cancer that took away his eyesight when he was young returned again when he was 16 to take him away. Number 5. Anise, the child with healing powers. Anise is not your average girl. She is said to possess the power to heal people from every kind of illness. What makes her story quite unique is while normal children are born after 9 months, she spent 3 good years in her mother's womb and started talking when she was only 7 months. Many have traveled from far and near to witness the power of the 3 year old super healer. According to her parents, they started experiencing unexplainable miracles ever since their daughter was born and her powers seem to get stronger as she gets older. According to her parents again, Anise has experienced several visitations by the Holy Mary and she is capable of reciting the Hail Mary prayer without having to learn it. She refers to Mary as her mother 
and Jesus as a brother. This isn't the first ever Marian apparition, but it is definitely the most unusual, especially when it involves a three-year-old who has the powers of healing. Do you believe in miracles? Let us know in the comment section below. Number 4. Troy James aka Twisty the Contortionist Troy James has a rare ability only a few people are lucky to have. When Troy was little, he thought everyone else could bend their bodies like the way he did, but only to find out his ability is a rare one. What is he? Thank you. He has a rare condition known as Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. People with this gift usually have very flexible joints and stretchy skin. According to Troy, he has always been this flexible, no training or practice required. In fact, when he was a child, he took it for granted, thinking everyone else could bend their body like the way he could. It wasn't until other kids started teasing him for being weird. He got super embarrassed and hid his ability until high school, where it suddenly became the coolest thing ever. This unique ability has given him roles in several Hollywood movies, like The Void and The Strain. One of his iconic appearances is in The Flash, where he played Ragdoll. Number 3. Steven Wilshire Wilshire's gift is one you've probably never seen before. He has an insane memory with intricate details. Wilshire was mute when he was young, and at the age of 3, he was diagnosed with autism, and at the age of 5, he expressed interest in drawing, and when he was about 7, he became fascinated with landmass and landscape while still being mute. The instructors at his school would punish him for his lack of verbal communication skills by temporarily taking away his art supplies. Initially, Stephen would respond by making inaudible sounds and eventually uttered his first word, paper. While it is true many people are blessed with such gifts, what makes Wilshire super special is he can look at a subject once and then draw an accurate and detailed picture of it. He frequently draws entire cities from memory based on single, brief helicopter rides. Number 2. Elude Kipchoge The first man to run a marathon in under two hours. One final lung-busting stride for Kipchoge. One giant leap for human endeavor. For those of you who don't know, Elite Kipchoge is very good at marathon, with two Olympic gold medals, nine major marathon victories, and perhaps the greatest PR stunt in the history of sports. So what makes Kipchoge special, you ask? Well, Kipchoge uses 85 to 90% of a runner's aerobic capacity, that is twice the capacity of an average man, and a sustained heart rate of about 160 to 170 beats per minute, which is only possible in humans who have hearts that can pump like a machine. Lil Kipchoge became the first human to run 42 kilometers in less than 2 hours. For people like me who don't run, it can be hard to put that time in perspective. He is fast, yes, but just how fast is it exactly? And how hard is it for other athletes to beat? Well, the answer is simple, it is undoable. Number 1. Safo Katanka, the engineering genius. A pasta is, perhaps, an unlikely candidate to become one of Africa's first car manufacturers. But that's what Koji Safo, who is locally known as the star of Africa, has done. Safo started his family business, Katanka, 20 years ago, making electrical devices from TVs and sound systems to musical instruments. He did all this with virtually no background in engineering or manufacturing whatsoever. His company now manufactures any type of vehicle you can imagine. According to Koji Safo, he gets his design design, engineering, and ideas from a divine being. Which one is exactly? We don't know. Which of these people have the most intriguing superhuman abilities? Leave us a comment down there. Do share with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. As usual, I'm your host Murphy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe. Peace. <laughs> you know, whenever I, I see such kind of thing, it really fascinates me. You know, one thing I've noticed with this is that um, <clears throat> for you to have those powers, there should be like, I mean, the, either you had an accident or mm -hmm. either you, you are, autism yeah, at, or autism and all those kind of things. Of this is baloney. This is all, uh, I think that this, they're trying to limit you. Because if like you look at this, there's something wrong with you. Exactly. Like so now, for me to become like 
this guy is, I have to have an accident somehow. Like that guy who not an who accident, maybe, maybe a sickness. Yeah. Like that guy who who does the sculpture thing. I don't think that's the case. I think that guy has just that gift was given to him when he was still young. And most probably the you know, listen, I mean this goes beyond now uh, what we actually know and maybe I don't know. So the thing is for example, if you're born with the ability today, like crazy abilities, there are some people who really know these things or know these people where they're located and probably they're going to come to you through, um, what do you call this, maybe dreams, maybe what, and then they create, let's say for example, if if I was born to have this, um, maybe to become, if, if I was born to have Spider-Man ability at a younger age, and they they actually find out that there's a child in the world that has this ability let's track the child and before he's even born let's inject the child with something that is gonna uh slow down uh slow down uh him having that kind of ability before time do you understand what if that what, what if that's uh, that's the actual thing that happens to all of us you understand now, I mean that's one way to look at it. I'm thinking. Look at all the movies, like for example, Academy. Umbrella Academy. Look at uh, X Men. They understand all the people with their abilities. But go. I want to give you another way mm -hmm. to look at it. What if we just don't? I believe everyone has a gift. Everyone has a gift. Everyone has made a gift. for you. Maybe your thing yes. is speaking through pictures. Yes. Maybe my thing is just <laughs> existing. Do you understand? I can't think of any example. But then everyone has a gift so maybe these people started i don't know because you can be at this no not i don't want to use this age maybe you were younger when you started falling in love with taking pictures and they're calling that a superpower i feel like it's just you working hard to get all these beautiful pictures do you understand it there's, can be me starting at an early age in life doing mm, something or there's when one thing I'm old, and there's a gift those are totally different things. A gift is something that. That's why I've given an example things. as you, as a mm. child, taking pictures. You know, yeah. you're a gifted child, now, but the perspective in which you take now, these pictures are you like. You're not born wow. to take pictures. I mean, having. Your, let's say the ability that you have when you're born is the ability to have that photogenic. Mm -hmm. uh, not everyone has a photogenic no, memory. No, 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 that's no, why no, there was a guy no, with a photogenic yes, memory. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Let's say I was born today. It's, it's not like I was born to take pictures straight up. No, I was born to when I see something, I see a different perspective from the other person who sees it. Do you understand? So now, how can I use my ability? But that's now gift. there's yes. Now how can I use my gift for the world to see? Of course, you can't just think and the world sees it in your brain. No, you have to put it into gadget like this from the camera take a picture and then put it out there so people will look at you like oh my god how did he or she manage to do that so with the help of the whatever thing the the camera that's when now you show your art to the world but some people die without even exactly because maybe they don't know what uh the other um second uh, like for example They're if i know that with exactly maybe, you but see you can't say that bro. so most of the people know this at an early stage and then they find themselves now but then that's why our parents see oh jesse likes this yeah. do you understand or jesse does this but me i'm thinking man that that you see when a baby is born let's not focus too much on that when a baby I is born, why do they your, inject the baby I when want it's to born talk about your uncle <laughs> his heart is like a machine so can you start from there <laughs> but then the guy comes from the same region so we have the same heart. <laughs> it's only that for me. <laughs> I wasn't born in those hills, so I could have been a runner now and a rock star. That's what you have to say. So no, that's not a superpower since all of you are the same? It is. Look, it's, it, it is some sort of magic superpowers. Do you understand? But the way they make it look like it. They make it look like it's it's a, it's a disability, it's a disorder, it's it's a what what and what, so that uh, it limits you to think beyond that. Do you understand? 
what I'm trying to say is this. I mean, we all have the ability, the gift that we're given by the, 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 uh, the Almighty. Do you understand? It's just everybody have the level genius talent or the yeah, level genius talent. Everyone has to tap into that. Do you understand? So what 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 they normally this is how i'm thinking they, they they do this to us at an early stage when you're born they actually throw you out from even remembering what your past is that's why they inject us with that particular i don't know <laughs> that's all i'm saying man don't think uh, I'm, I'm not crazy but that's how i'm thinking imagine if i don't know man we could have so many people who have different kind there's of abilities by that, now that, that are actually talented and i know there is a lot of people they are not in that line, like they understand, because the moment they find out that you're this type, Some they people just tend shy to. Away from For example, that. this guy. You see this guy who builds this cars. Why is it that he's not really out out there? Uh, why? Because companies like I don't know what they think. This is a yeah. They think like this is a is, is a what? This is a. It's, it's a threat to us. This is a work. Oh, you do understand. So now, but they what, kind of. Sorry. What I would love to say about this video is that I feel like it's just this guy appreciating these people in the video. Do you understand? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing. All the other things that he had to say about them, all this, had this, this. I feel like he's just appreciating them. I love that. Yes. I just love that someone is shining light on black people, you know, which we should often do. So if you see this yeah. video, share it with a friend who's going to share it with another friend, and yeah, anything else? Yeah, I mean, um, let's not limit ourselves, you know. Let's try to see yourself <coughs> as a greater person. Your, your mind is the most powerful thing ever. So use your mind yeah, great. the moment you decolonize de decolonize the mind then the that's what? when decolonize oh, okay. that's when you can start seeing that you're something even higher you're than what than you think, think. Yeah. Exactly. you're great we're great stay great yeah. just figure out what you want to do let us know what you want to react to by dropping the link down below we'll be more than glad to react to it Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video.